my little fighty is also listening in. How many dogs no, you have? Alive. Two. Awesome. I love dogs. They're like, hi, hi, every time you come home. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> like, hi. <laughs> I know, I'm all correct. <laughs> All right, we live now? Yeah, we're doing okay. a sp spontaneous um, event. No. Right. Well, let's look, let's look at it from this perspective. It appears to be spontaneous, but in the higher realms, the idea of what you call mastery construction, we already set this moment up, and we have all chosen the moment to receive as reality, basically. So we're basically catching up with ourselves, the fractal. So um, I'll channel, and uh, then we'll believe me. Okay, just play it by ear, and if you ha if your name gets called out, there's a reason. So don't be afraid. Whatever, that kind of thing. And there's someone else coming to my door, so I may jump over there and say, "Come in" or something like that, because there's someone coming right now. I don't know who, but someone's coming in the next. That kind of idea. It's like I'm already here. You know, it's like not even. A separation anymore. It's weird. All right. And greetings to the Internet Collective out there. My name is Osipius. I am from the Oversoul Collective Fire. So, Roxy is right in that fashion. Realize that everything to put together for your experience, and listen to that word, young entities, it is experience. It is experience of what it is like to be a human being. So what truly happens is your higher self, if you guys want to look at it like that, and even your higher self, remember, is just a fractal in and of itself of all the other selves that you are. You are billions of selves, billions of seconds receiving experience from the multitude of this multidimensional, what you call universe. Now, I'll give you an idea. The reason we're on the track of multiple selves and multiple fractals and multiple places and multiple times, and we're now we are, let's say, equating it to this one little particle, particle, I'll say it again, particle, a speck of light, truly, that what you define every day as life, reality, in front of the mirror. You're waking up and saying, this is who I am. This is life. And that's why we're all here to shed a little light on what you call life and that perspective. So back to the mastery idea. In the co-created moments in your reality, remember, your reality in that moment is just that. Okay? Don't think of it's anything beyond that. Whoever's not in your reality is not receiving that experience until you wish to partake it. So that's how truly individual your universe is. It is, in and of itself, personal. The only one, once again, in your you universe. All right. So we're putting this all together, so please put your, let's say, working brain, my thinking mind, aside. Because then it will cloud the words that are continuing to come, and you get caught in some trap back there instead of being where you belong. Where do you belong? Now. All right. In this fashion of fractals of self, multiple personalities in that fashion, truly, we'll talk about past lives since the subject came up. And truly, entities, the subject did not come up. All of you just had the co-created moment to experience this moment. And with the idea, we'll call our supreme, say, past lives. And then, our young master over there, F. Frankie, whatever you want to call him, the big monster in some aspects, monster in a good way, because he doesn't know how epic he is. We'll give him that later. Anyways, you brought up multiple lives. So that's what we're going to give you. We're going to give you a pool of thought, okay? And remember, right now, 
because I'm reading all your minds. How do I do that? Why? How? Because I am you. Don't think for one second, entities, that I don't know everything you do. Of course I do, because it is all conscience, love. Deal with that. Accept that. Be that. Expand from that. And watch your universe ever unfold into the magic that it truly is. Back to the point. So we'll expand on this idea of past lives. I'm going to give you an idea of really, maybe a perspective. And remember, the word really is my perspective. doesn't have to be yours. That's your idea to accept what my perspective is and then give it an unconditional love in that acceptance or say, no, that can't be true and keep yourself limited. Hmm. Think about that, huh? When someone is giving their personal understanding of the universe in the moment, you have a choice, fear or love. So now that I'm giving you my perspective, which I call really is what's happening, you don't have to choose it. If it vibrates in a state of love, awesome. If it does not, and you are, let's say, bullshit in that perspective, then you would know you are limiting yourself. You do not have to agree with anything that anyone says ever. But it would behoove you in that fashion to at least entertain that entity, that situation, as what it is. Creative love. In the individual expression that you all are, that I am, speaking my highest truth in this moment, to expand my own universes on the possibilities of all that is. Oh, yes. Let that sink in, entities. Because there is depth. There's onion layers in that. There is a perpetuating reality that will expose itself to you, which you understand now in observation instead of participation. What might be going on with your own reality? Choose what you will. Either way, I love you. All right. Now, in the fashion of past lives, let's imagine this together. And I will download this into all of your minds through verbal words, but trust you already have the visual in your mind. You are atop a mountain. You can see your entire world. From this tallest peak around you, there is nothing without that is not within, rather, your sight. So you are looking at this grand universe, and then you are looking at this grand world, which we will co-create right now as Earth. And then you are back here going, this is a wonderful game. I would love to participate in this game, for it is my highest joy to participate as a human incarnation. Then what you do is take a fractal, pay attention class, of yourself and incarnate that down, down on the earth. You choose your parents, your chair, and parents choose you. You choose the environment, you choose the probabilities of education, social status, whatever your soul truly is urging you to experience in the moment. Mm. That's how easy it is. Don't define it as anything more. In other words, there's no true soul purpose except the one you want to. Because there are billions of soul purposes. But you set up a probable reality to experience one kind of idea and all the possibilities of that idea, which are, of course, endless. Now, I am the mountaintop. I take a fractal of my personality, my higher self, which I'm a fractal, 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 fractal. And I give that an incarnation upon life, upon earth. And that fractal of me becomes a personality. The one you see in the mirror before you every day. I, Osipius, from the Oversoul Collective Fire, Oversoul Collective Fire has done what? Given Roxanne, Rakia, her fourth density self, which she is all of the time now, truly, chose 
that portion of herself to become what you call, once again, Roxanne. So Roxanne is now asleep, but she has a guy. Not that guy, not that guy, this guy. Me, I, okay? You all have the same thing. What you did is take a portion of yourself, once again, incarnated, and now I up here in Roxy down there, you up here and you all down there are now one. But with the idea of the game, humanity forgetfulness, pay attention, you forgot. So I am going to tell Roxy and all of your higher selves telling you, wake up, wake up, wake up. Here you go, here you go, here you go, here you go, here you go. And then all of a sudden, ding dong, 11, 11, the alarm clock goes off, and now you're like, holy shit. Who are you? I'm you. No, you're my imagination. No, I'm not. Your imagination is me, and I am eternal. I am God. I am the creator. I am the one. I am the source. I am a perfect Xerox copy of the gods. God, creator, anything in your fathomable mind and throughout all of your histories and your past life, I am. And so are you. And so are all of you. Now, in that state, there's an idea. The idea, once again, is experienced. But how to handle this experience and all of your nows is to give up. Stop thinking now that you're awake. Because remember where I am and all of your higher selves. Where are you? You're on the mountaintop. I can see everything, but you only can see what's in front of you, left and right, and what you would almost perceive as a 2D perception while I have the immense, all-encompassing standby. Come on in, young entity. Katrina, is that you? Yes. Wonderful. Can you do me a favor and turn the air conditioning on for Roxia one more time, please? Click it down. There's an arrow down on the top left side. And then have a seat, make yourself comfortable. We have a guest. All right, now we will continue. Remember, the idea is I'm up here once again, and you're down there. I don't know if you can see that in your imagination, but of course you can because I'm giving it to you right now. Stay in mind. There's a top left button that says Savor. There you go. All right, now. You are on, I, your higher selves, you, higher selves, are on, once again, the mountaintop, and you're way down here. Can you see your perspective on how limited it is? You only can see frontwards, left, right, that kind of idea. Are you following? Is everyone there still with me? Yes? A yes. little thing. Oh, thank you. All right. Yes. All right. Now, what you are doing is seeing your reality from only your perspective. And I can see your reality from all perspectives. Not only can I see it from your angle, I can see it from the multitudinal angles that are available to me wherever I want to go. Why? Because I know I'm everything. You guys forgot. So that's why I said give up, surrender. Because who's driving? You are. But right now, you, the fractal, think you're driving. And that thinking, driving idea is only based off the past, what was, until you understand the moment. But you're so, so, so scared of the moment because you don't know what is coming. You're fearing the unknown, which is truly, think about it, fear is only based on the known because the unknown is unknown. Ta -da. Now, if you are up here and you had my sight, you can see everything. There would be no, let's say, conflict. You would say, no, 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 I don't want to go there. I'm going to go here. So that's what I tell you. And remember this. The fractal and I are the same. The only division is your logical mind of separation, which you are overcoming. All right? So... If you're up here now, imagine all the possibilities. Listen to that word again. Imagine all the possibilities, which means 
all of your imagination possibilities are the possibilities. But your mind says, no, 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 that, that can't happen. Oh, no. Really? I'm sorry, I'm writing your script. I am the programmer reprogramming as I choose. Why? Because I am creation. As I choose free will at the moment forever. Period. So who do you trust? Your limited mind or me, which is you. But you just don't know it. So the idea now is to let go and surrender and get out of the driver's seat. Get into the passenger seat and let me drive. And I will take you to places beyond comprehension. I will drive you to the ends of the earth where it seems no more can possibly happen. And I will expand your moment of that fear into unconditional love. And you will equate it as unbelievable realities. Immeasurable in your words, immeasurable in your limited mind right now. And that's just one fractal of you. And now we'll go and equate it to what you would call thousands and thousands of those. If I'm not limited, and all I want to do is create an experience, you think I'm going to limit myself any moment of all the nouns? I continue to create particles of myself forever. And all of you have done that. You're only one of the billions, that's with a capital B, and that is the most minute, listen now, translation of how many truly are out there. We want to say it's infinite amount, but you guys discount that as well. Like, okay, yeah, right. Infinite. Okay, I got it. No, you're not seeing the immeasurable amount of personalities, past lives, future lives, all the incarnations that you truly are. You think you're one, two, five, ten. Earth and all of your lives is truly to an individual oversoul one day. One day of the billions of lives you guys have been on Earth. Eh, 100,000, 200,000, true. But we say billion for ideology of how many possibilities. Because I'm not going to name every one of them, obviously. We don't have that much what you call time. But how do we short skirt that? Boom. It's in your mind right now. Ta-da. Trust that thought of the number you just all got. Trust it. Think about it. You got the number. There it is. Awesome. Now, in the idea of past lives, they are, for in particular experiences, what you call humanity, up to a point of 1987. 1987 is what you call the harmonic convergence. There were some workers before, but we'll call them the old guard. The old guard did some groundwork to lay the foundation so the harmonic convergence of 1987 could occur on a probable timeline that was, let's say, Believed enough by enough of what you call humanity to allow it to be reality, to be co-created. There's a thousand more probable realities occurred back then. Those entities are over there. A fractal of yourself is over there. Because you chose this. But I put it together that you had a probability you wouldn't choose that timeline. So I'm experiencing that one of you over there. You're choosing this particle information that's now receiving this, this timeline. But you are rubbing elbows with that timeline. Why? So you can get the knowledge of that timeline to give you knowledge of the ascension timeline. The 1987 occurrence that took the experience from just experience to the idea of actually, let's say, Realizing ascension of humanity. The probabilities of all the time, 16.3 billion years, truly, if you want to count the time, which is so irrelevant because it's limiting, however, we'll give you that. That idea of the timeline of ascension came together with all of your works of all of your 100,000 past lives. 
to experience the slayer, the slave, the rapist, the raper, the murderer E, the murderer, the cook, the baker, the wife, the husband, the children, the schoolmaster, the explorer, the Native American brave, the Greek Roman centurion, the Egyptian god and goddesses. You're not one of them. You're hundreds of them. How many Egypts were there? Four. How many Christs were there before the new Christ that's now on earth? Three. Do you see how much it really is a play? It is not written in stone. It is a mastery plan for you all to just come in and jump into the game as you choose. You are your own sandbox. And we are all the same sandbox in a unit of one. And whenever two to five to a billion or seven billion get together, it is perfectly synchronistically put together for the most beneficial of mankind at this time to ascend. Because let me tell you this. I'll give it to you in a rude term. That's how fucking smart we are. Which means that how smart you are. So stop discounting yourself onto your knowledge of what you have learned. Because that's what keeps you limited. Now that you have a spectrum of an idea of how truly unlimited you are, how much you've truly experienced in all the nows, then you can at least entertain I don't need to define myself as one queen, I'm 10,000 queens. Or one little maiden that lived upon a hill in the Dutch harbors in the 1700s and pumped out five or six kids. I'm not just that, I'm hundreds of those. Why? Because you experienced, you saw what it was, you felt the depth of humanity. You dug it into your DNA memory. Every cell remembers everything, by the way. To get to this point to wait a minute, wait a minute. I remember this. I may not be able to equate it in my physical mind to any particular time, but my soul urge, my feeling of my entity, my existence, which you all are discounting because you're looking for equatable to science is telling me I understand this. Is telling me I've got this. Is giving me a vibration that is not life, that is not a dream, but is a quality of its own that exists only in the vibrational love of truth. That's your beacon home entities. That's your compass pointing north. That's your new urge to follow. So please do not discount yourself as to a career or an idea that I have to become this so I can sustain myself in the 3D paradigm of limitation and have money and a house. The tighter you hold on to think that, Diddy, the more you crush it. I'll give you this, let's say, analogy. When you all truly grasp something that you love, there was a saying given, what you love you must let go. But that caused fear because the idea was whatever you let go of left your reality. No entities. What it is is whatever you let go of that you love, you are letting it flower. And it only flowers in your reality because you're the creator of that. You're not going to uncreate something that does not serve you. So you're choking your own love with the desperation to hold on to an equatable justification of self-image. Do you understand? You're trying to sustain an image to the world of acceptance, of separation, of, no, you can't have that because I learned this. So I'm right and you're wrong. So if you're wrong and if you don't agree with me, 
I will continue to build my own barriers of separation. And if you don't join in my reindeer games, you can't play with me. I'm going to take my bat and ball and go home. What you do now is let your love flower in your isness of what you are. The truth of your own urge. Be yourself to discover entities yourself. Sit in peace at every moment of your fleeting lives. Fear nothing of the thought of where you're going to end up. Because only that is ascension. Trust that. Let it go. Now take your futures and bring them shorter, closer to the now. And let yourself be rocked in the bosom of grace. And flow through the moments of time with the divine nonchalance of you, the creator of your reality, will only give you your own love in return. For that is what you would put out. For that is what you are. For that is what you are gleaming. For that is your beacon of light piercing the dark. Do not discount yourselves, entity. All of you are part of this wonderful. And without one of you, we would all perish. So my eternal love to you all, for expressing your highest moment to allow this co-creative moment to appear in your reality. That, in and of itself, is epic, my young masters of ascension. Once again, this is Osiphius from the Oversoul Collective Fire, soon to be revealed what she is in her highest excitement to the collective. She will give you that perspective. I bid you a good moment, a donate. Thank you. Hi guys. Welcome back, Robson. Uh, Welcome back. I'm here. I, I know. I was kind of here, but not really. <laughs> How was it? Good? Did you like it? <laughs> of course you did. It was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. It was very good. No, that was awesome. Not just great. Just kidding. Thank you, guys. Oh. Get it. So, any reflections, questions, kibbles, bits? Yes. I always have. Ahead, baby. <laughs> um. Okay. So, if I um choose let's say past life a b and c uh-huh what happens to the other ones that i'm not connecting to Do... they are living their lives right now okay let's put it this way last week there was a decision you made you went this way here i'll point it there we go you went this way, the conscious Sabrina I'm talking to right now, but you had a decision to go that way. That's a parallel reality. You're living that one out, but you're not conscious. Your higher self is living that fractal out and experiencing that you. All of yourselves, you have billions of selves going off in different directions all the time. You must look at the gargantuan size of it now. You think the curtain's three feet tall, you get a new perspective, the curtain is now 300 feet tall. Then you grow to 3,000 feet and you open up a new curtain that's 3 million feet tall. You keep rising to it. And that's what you're allowing. So those perspectives of yourself on the parallel earth are still living out their lives. You, the entity in front of you, in the mirror right now that I'm talking to, will get that understanding and all of that experience when you're done with your direct experience with what you're creating. In other words, your personality free will choice. That's why there's no wrongs. There can't be. It's all things the same thing. It's all experience of ascension to the best of your ability. So whatever choice you're making in the moment is the one that you're choosing. But realize there's other entities of yourself, other fractals that are living out that parallel life. Let them have it. 
You're not missing a damn thing is what I'm trying to say. Are, are, you, are you following me? Yes. <laughs> yes. So when you talk about past incarnations, there's so many. I mean, there's rev prevalent ones. But if they're prevalent, you'll get fractals in dreams. There's usually seven dreams, and now I'm, I'm taking the perspective. And again, guys, this is a perspective. I'm coming from Seth here because me and Seth are actually talking and we're writing. We're writing a book or editions. And more or less, we'll call them Roxyisms or Sethisms, I kind of thing. You have seven dreams a night. The last one's usually the one you remember. The other ones are to do particular work with other lives. Now think about this. The person that you are right now went back to the person in a dream 10 years ago. You did the work so you can experience this moment right now. Are you following? Mm, can you rephrase it? Yes. Here, we'll go future life. Last night you had a dream. You talked to Sabrina in the future. We'll say five years from now. Okay. You and her did some work together so when you woke up you would follow this excitement because you know yourself better than the future Sabrina knows herself in that fashion. Because there are 10,000 future Sabrinas. But the highest probability one came back to you and you went to them in dream state, which everything is now, and you talk to each other, and then now you're in this moment to receive this. And just because of this moment that you followed, which was your dream last night, Mm -hmm. That future Sabrina is now going to be you when you get there. Got it. And the same in the past life. You would not be experiencing this moment unless the Sabrina's dream last night went back five years to another Sabrina and said, hey, blah, 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 leading you to this moment. Are you following? Okay, so, so, deja vu? Fall in that category. What's that? Uh, deja vu. You know when you when you feel you. Deja, deja vu is an idea of a probable reality in a way you've already been to. Why? Because you've been everywhere. Everything is now. You, as an entity, an individual, just hasn't experienced it yet. But deja vu is a telltale sign. Holy shit! I've been here because I. You're now connected with the eye of your higher self. Already knows this because it already set it up for me to catch up to in time. So yes, deja vu is you re remembering a moment that in time you had already experienced. And now you're catching up to it. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. Okay. So you have, the, you have your past and future selves. You have your past incarnations as humans, as other entities, ETs and extraterrestrials alike, no matter what they, uh, what you call entity or civilization or incarnation or any of that, that's not the point. The point is, is the power that you truly have to give the fullness, the vitality and vigor of this moment, this is what counts right now. This, not any of that. Because that's playing out. You get to experience and remember all that. When you get the fourth density, instead of looking at the film as it's going, you get to lay it out on the floor and go to any one of those film clips and any time and experience any moment in all of the times, all of the nouns in that fashion. So don't worry about that. You'll get to it. But the idea of incarnation is to be here now so you can get the fullness of your abilities in the moment. Okay? So all of those other incarnations in your Arcturians, in your Andromedans and Zetas and all the countless beings that are out there that are part of your higher selves, that are, again, just a fraction, think, so small, a grain of sand in all the beaches and all the universes, that's all that is. All of that is that small still. Okay? That right there is just for the experience to make this one fuller. It's not an obligation to make sure you know about that and that what you're doing up there, it's that entity already knows what's up. It's that entity that's helping you down here. 
Does that make sense? Yes. So Okay. Go ahead. Okay. So when when you say um you know that other Sabrina that could have possibly you know the parallel lives. Uh -huh. um, and that they're going on on their own, right? That the higher self is experiencing that. So yes. does that Sabrina have its own its own soul, its own consciousness? Not its own, not its own soul. Okay, listen. You all have souls through your soul memory complex, which you are experiencing all of your memory. We mystify soul as your ex actual existence. Your soul is a soul memory complex receiving all of your experiences from your entity, your isness of the individual spark of life that you are. That spark of life created billions of what you would call yous. This one is just experiencing life. So that's a fractal of all of that, including the soul. But it all is the same idea as a soul. We just gave ourselves oversoul, oversoul, oversoul for clarity so we can at least comprehend the idea in our limitation. Are you following that? Yes. Okay. So that other Sabrina is still you. It's still your higher self. It's still the same, quote, soul. Here, let me equate this real quick. Okay, so what makes it, what makes it uh, different or me not connecting to it is my consciousness? Is that your, what it is? Your limitation of what you are remembering. You are fully total conscious. But the idea of limitation was to forget, okay? That's what. Your conscience knows everything. But your 3D logical personality is remembering. Are you following that? Yes. Okay. Hey, Roxy. Yes, go. I got a question. I was watching this guy uh, channeling yesterday, and actually he was talking about his parallel lives in this lifetime, in this 3D uh -huh. world. So he is right now like anyone of us, right, in a physical manifestation. But he also remembers that his soul is also connected to the Pope and connected to the president, current President Obama. So can a person in 3D life be in this 3D world as three different in three different human forms. Yes. Would that be a parallel life or how what would that you call that? What you call a okay. That is what you call a uh, what do they call it now? Soul what? Co what do you guys call that? Huh? Oh your soulmate. Sure. Okay? Look at as Bashar said, there's 144,000 oversouls currently incarnating 7 billion people. Do the math. Okay, so, so how can somebody know that those are the people? I mean, those are their soul partners. Okay. It's not a matter of knowing. It's a matter of him choosing to know that as his truth. So if that is his truth in the moment, that's what he is to himself. Accept him for that. Don't try to figure out how that's happening. Because that came into your reality. Everything is synchronistic for a reason of expanding. Trust that. So that came into your reality to reflect upon, to now take your 3D logical mind and give it a new perspective for entertainment or judgment. In other words, for love to see the possibilities of creation, or fear, termed in some other day of no, no, no. How is that possible? Because here, how is it possible? Because he thought of it. If you think of it, it exists as a parallel reality through all the conscience of mankind, through all the conscience of creation. Are you following? Right. So, yeah, 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 I do, I do. He actually talks about, you know, uh, him personally speaking to them in spirits also. Like speaking when he's asleep or like in his dream time. 
He actually oh, yeah. had that conversation with them. So the only thing that makes it true is that you are making that connection. Yes. Let me tell you this, okay? There is no other truth. Look, guys, okay. If you can imagine that you are a piece of consciousness and all the conscience, okay? And that piece of conscience got a letter from God that said, your conscience forever, go and play, no rules, everything of yours is true. Okay, and you go. And there was no other one else in your reality. Nobody was there. You never created another, what you would call, entity or human being or Arcturian or anything. You were always empty. So you got to play on how you choose. So you would build castles and maybe make a river that ran through chocolate, and you would just create your reality. That's your truth. But what it seems, as soon as we add a reflection in the mirror back, then we get scared that, wait a minute, my truth might not fit his truth, and then that fear. Are you following? Yes. Now you're going, wait a minute, I have a truth that feels good, but I need to get accepted, or I might be judged, or there might be repercussions for me to speak my truth. So I need to check. So let me run to the Internet, or let me find a book, or let me find a video that validates my truth. Okay? And if it validated through the outside, which is the inside, then I can move forward with it. The idea now is to trust everything in your mind because your mind is God, period. You are the same mind. You are the God stream of all. I live by that universe. I, I completely concur. Yeah, your perceiving mind is what takes that thought of unconditional love in whatever form your higher self is giving it to you it translates it into something else that you can comprehend in your mind. And then if it doesn't fit your reality over here, then you throw it away because it would challenge your security, your safety, your comfort zone. But now we're asking you to trust that moment. And in that trust, you walk through that and see, whoa, I had nothing to fear. Look at the magic. Awesome. And now that is your truth that you're trusting is the message. Be yourself. Your vibrational state of truth can lead you nowhere except truth because that's what you're putting out leading back to the, down the fourth law. What you put out is what you get back, period. Are you following? Yes. So that's amazing information so far. That's the truth. That's the basic. Of it. Yeah. That is true. I mean, there's nothing yeah. more to add, nothing to take out of it. It's just it. Yeah, and uh, ma many of the spacecraft with um, that visit us is actually ourself visiting ourself and saying hello. Yes. Yes. Because they, they are interesting in, in because we are the same as them, but another Of course. So now exactly of them. look at them as a perspective of creation instead of division of creation. They are choosing, which is you, to be that. So love that as a moment of creation and allow it to occur and follow the vibratory state of your truth at that moment and let it unfold. Surrender. In other words, let your higher self drive you. Get in the passenger seat. Get what you call the proverbial coffee. And if you smoke, get a cigarette. And hang out and go for the ride. Because you will only lead yourself to epic moments. And, and basically you can visit your other lifetime 
how many time you want to do it. Of basically, course. there's no there's no rules that I I can meet there my no uh, Yagel self. That's right. The minute you put a rule on anything, listen to me, any Denise. Anytime you put a rule on anything, you curb, you condition creativity. Creativity cannot be conditioned. Period. You're only putting a condition on your limitation, which is still creation, but on this reality, or this reality, or this reality. But all of them are right. Just keep following and trusting. Because once again, this moment is for you to expand. In whatever way you choose, choosing the new parallel reality you want to live. There are no wrongs. There's only the experience of the isness of all. That's when it's the game in play. Live it, love it, and watch it unfold. It's letting go and letting in at the same time. Bingo. I love it. Okay, so let's say um, an entity tells me you had uh, past lives with such and such a person. Uh -huh. um, say hi to my friend. Yeah. Go ahead. So, so the question is, was that me um, wanting to make that connection? Oh, or, yes. Or... Yes. Remember, listen, okay, I'm going to give you a dream tonight. I can only give you a dream that you are going to be able to equate to a memory so it can make sense. In other words, what you can comprehend. So whatever fashion will spark the question which it obviously worked because you just asked the question, is that what I want to experience? Yes. Because you asked that question, all leading to this new now that you want to understand it. But it only can give you those that you can equate it. So in other words, if you dream something and you have a tree in your dream, understand the tree with the river next to it, does it mean the same thing to my dream of a tree in a river? We have two different views. So that's why you trust your own interpretation of the dream, of the experience, because that's most beneficial to you equating it to the meaning your higher self is giving it to you. Are you following that? Yes. Yeah, I got it. Good stuff, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Very good stuff. We have, yeah. we have watched too much of Bashar. <laughs> oh, listen, Bashar serves, everyone serves. Listen, there's always a perspective of love put out, okay? And let's equate this to the 400 meter or 4x4 four four relay, okay, and track. In a certain time, a certain runner would start the race. And then when his vibrational love attracts enough entities to experience that, and then those entities are done, he hands off the baton. So those entities can keep running in the race to the next idea that comes in. So every entity, every actor on stage attracting love to them is serving a purpose to a point of now and that other entity receiving that idea will be handed off to another higher excitement. Because Bashar, Cryon, love you Noah, love you baby, Bashar, Cryon, Abraham Hicks, uh, Seth, all, all of the greats and all of the ones that Adronis is coming up, and, and Nora Harold with the Pleiades. All of these are attracting certain entities that have a contract to experience so they can expand and then go on to this and then go on to that. Everything has a unified goal of ascending mankind. So everyone will be out there in their perfect now to experience that, and you will go from here to here to here to here to here. That's why all truths are truth. 
only in the moment. Don't take a truth that was so great five minutes ago, ten minutes ago, two years ago, and say, that's my truth, I love it. And you stay in that vibration, but here comes a new truth. And you don't, you push that one away because you love this one so much, but that's what keeps you living. So every truth got you to a certain now to expand to your next higher and higher and higher. So remember, everything is a unified purpose for any individual who experienced that for ascension. And then they go from there. That's why people vibrate into my reality, vibrate out. Here they are again, here they are. I talked to people three months ago, they pop back in, hey, and then they're gone again. Because they're all their own individual. So I view that now as, wow, I help them, they help me. They help them, they help me. And when they're gone, they're doing their thing, and I love them for that because they're expressing their reality in the what way they can in the moment of their own truth. Does that make sense? Are you following that line, kiddo? Yes. Yes, we are following. I'm following. Okay. So all truth for truth, follow what works for you. What doesn't, don't let it be bad. Love it for what it is. If it doesn't slight you and go, that's cool, but it doesn't work for me. Thank you. And go on with your nouns. But if you're going, fuck that, that sucks, then that is a vibratory state that is urging you to, wait a minute, why don't I see that as love? What is making me feel this particular, let's say, conflict, friction in my soul, in that idea, that doesn't make me love that entity for what they're saying? Maybe they're challenging a perceived truth that's really not true anymore. So, me being the ascender that I am, let me at least entertain it and let my logical mind go to sleep and let my intuition, my all that is mine, entertain it. And I shall sit in the driver's seat, no more. I'll hop over here and say, go ahead, let's see where it goes. I always equate it to this an idea. I look at, I'm in my own IMAX theater. I have the huge screen of life in front of me. I'm going to sit back and watch it unfold as the observer of my emotions to see what's causing the perpetuation of negativity. And then I look at that and says, I wonder why that is. And I know sometimes you get in the emotion and become a participant and go, fuck, 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 fuck. That makes me so mad. Ugh. But then you can say, okay, I got it. And don't judge that because that's what you are. Everything you are is your truth in the moment, and we all love you because it's creativity. Remember that. Besides, so you, can, you know, like you can also. Oh, sorry. What's that? I said besides, like you know, when you are mad or angry, we are here in this three D world to to enjoy that emotion. Also, take everything, whatever negative or what, just take it like as enjoyment. That's it. That's the whole answer. You don't have to be fearful about your negativeness. You don't have to worry about how negative somebody right. is. Just take that and say that, hey, you know what? This is what I need to break through. Just like a seed, when a seed is trying to germinate, it has to break through that soil. Would you call that breakthrough a bad thing? Or would you call that a immensely positive and thrilling experience? It's all up to you how you want to take it. In my experience, the way I choose it is that's the most beautiful thing because that little seed is now germinating as a plant and can enjoy every sunlight, every little sense of air, whatever it is. You know, it's, that's the beauty of it. So every breakthrough or every anger, every argument is for us to break through that moment and to enjoy it. And just, just enjoy it. Even the fear, even the pain that you have it, enjoy that moment because guess what? If you cannot feel the emotions, you can never experience and enjoy those emotions. So just enjoy. Be in love and enjoy. And Beautiful. learn from it. Beautiful. That's it. Because, because what a lot of people even perceive is once they lose their cool and they get mad, they always think they're going to be that way because they did something once, so they think that's permanent. It's not. It's what you were in the moment. And you just say, I love that. 
I lived it. I was that pain, emotion, anger, fear, anxiety. And now I'm done with it. Thank you. And you move on with your now. Because the next now, you might fall into a, a lap of roses, you know, and like, oh. You know, I mean, I had, I, like, when I first bought a computer and when I started learning Photoshop, like, about 10, 12 years ago, um, I didn't know about, you know, like, auto-saving or saving every couple minutes, you know, every five minutes, ten minutes, and whatnot. And I was actually just drawing it, trying to learn it and all that stuff. And I was drawing this uh, Zach Nicholson in Photoshop from the, you know, from start, from scratch. And I was almost done, and suddenly the computer crashed. Uh. I could be mad. I could be mad at myself, I could be mad at the computer, I could do anything. But guess what happened? I was like, oh my god, I learned so much in that three hours, let me see what I can do in the next half an hour. And guess what? For something that took me three hours, within half an hour, I could do better, and I was faster, and I learned the program. Ta-da! Because exactly. your vibrational approach says, wait right. a minute, bingo, that's it. Right, Good. I could be mad. I could, I could throw the computer. I could smash the computer. I could be mad and gone to bed. But guess what? My result would not been as productive if I had chosen that other vibration of being in, in, in fear, mad, or, or you know, angry. And but I chose the vibration of love and learn, and that's the result I got. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's beautiful. Yeah. Give me one second or one minute. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Like I said, I'm drinking a lot of coffee. <laughs> Be right back. I'm glad you can do that, Prana. No, it's easy. It's really easy. It's so easy. It's unbelievable. It's just saying it. It's just like saying, you know, for example, let's say if I am a chain smoker and I wanted to stop smoking tomorrow, all you have to really do is say, I'm going to stop it. And then just stopping it. When you have that, you know, of smoking another one, just say, hey, I'm above it. I said I'm going to stop it. And just stopping it is really simple as that. There is no addictions unless you choose to call it an addiction and unless you choose to put yourself in that situation time and time again, which, uh, you know, in return you are just uh, torturing yourself, whereas you don't need to. But again, I mean, like, you know, if you take that as something of joy and that, you know, you could take that also. So it is, as I said, it's, it's all is. It's about how you choose to experience it, how you feel to be in joy at the moment. No, 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 I, I, I totally agree with you. The joy thing, it's, it's happened to me lots of times. Um, I think in the last three years, um, I have learned to, oh, oh well, I lost it. You know, like the tablet has crashed. Uh, normally when I was drawing a, an ET, um, it would happen. Like I would do the whole thing, detail it and everything, and all of a sudden, once I was done, the tablet would crash, and I would lose the whole thing. Next time, right, I mean, the next time if that ever happens to you, just take it in a way that, oh, maybe this was wrong. Maybe it was not meant to be out or maybe I drew something wrong so I have to start over again to give the correct representation of who the entity is. Yeah, I didn't start over again. I let it go. I just said, right. oh yeah. well, what just are you going to do? Go. And I just, I just let it go. I, I didn't try and redraw it because I was, mm -hmm. you know, in my mind I was thinking maybe they just wanted me to draw it but they don't want me to keep it. Uh-huh. So. Right. Don't have to. Uh, hey, Caitlin. Hey, uh, how's it going? Even though I'm not Caitlin. Hi, I'm Caitlin. <laughs> <laughs> no one cares about you, Rowie. That's my elves. That's my elves. Hi, Rowie. Bye now. Hey. 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 You do a better accent than I do, I must admit. Hey, I like that. Uh, I like that letter. Can somebody mute me? My computer's lagging. I need somebody to mute me. I'm okay, muted. I'll mute you. Okay, thank you. Good, you're glad. I'm glad you're muted. Hey, Sabrina. Yes. What did you say? Lettuce, crisp, cool, and what? Um. 
the cool. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> that. Is it crisp, cool, and something? But anyway, I, I love that one. Cool and collected and something yeah. like that. I love that. Lettuce. That's who I am. <laughs> yeah, that's who you are. You're lettuce. Lettuce. <laughs> Oops. Oh, that noise? Did I mute her? What? Uh, who's the person hosting the 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 chat? I I'm hosting the. Mm -hmm. All right, you're just not supposed to have that symbol on the human colony thing. That's the present testament symbol. I think it's just a default picture that comes up. Oh, I thought he picked that one for the other side. No, no. that's the de default. Well, then I gotta I pick a picture for our site to explain. Yeah, I basically have to go to bed soon because. Yeah, it's I'm gonna late. find someone to uh, open up one for present testament thing. Yeah. So should I keep the live on? Or uh, then it will be on for a long time. I'm sorry. What was that? Yeah, I have have to go to bed soon, so oh. I can pe keep the live thing on, but then it will be not stopped after. No, 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 I'll just ask somebody else if they're around. Right. No, Gabriel, I think uh, you should close it. I need to change that symbol for the play. Close it, otherwise it will be eight hours. So it's, that's...